It's Bonnie. Happy Sunday night. Oh my goodness, you guys. It is almost eight o'clock. I'm looking a little ruffled here. <laughs> I just got done cleaning. I've been doing laundry. I went for a walk. I feel like I got a lot done today. And oh my goodness, I got a whole bunch of bracelets up in the Etsy store. I still have a tray back here um, that I need to put on, but I think I got about 20 or 30 sets, including Halloween. I actually put um, the link in my community page, and then I also have it below. It's Queen of the Girl Geeks on Etsy. So if you're looking for some bracelets, <laughs> go check us out. My mother, my daughter, and I all make bracelets. I want to do bookmarks and keychains for Halloween. I got to get my act together on that, but I got busy cleaning today. So Oh my goodness, if you're brand new to my channel, have I got a Bath & Body Works hack for you. Dusting your furniture with body cream. So I discovered this years ago, I want to say it's been like 10 years, and believe it or not, I was actually putting on some body cream. I want to say it was white citrus. I don't know why, that like sticks in my head. This was a long time ago. And I remember I was putting it on like over my dresser and some of it like dropped on my dresser, which I still have, by the way, the same dresser. Um, and I grabbed a wash rag that was sitting there to wipe it up. And I'm like, wait a minute, this is like working really good on my furniture <laughs> ever since. So that day I went around the entire house with a wash rag. I'm going to show you how to do this and my body cream cleaned all my furniture, dusted it, and I've been doing this ever since, and my house smells amazing. So I took a little video of um, the uh, buffet I have in my dining room. So let me play the video first so you can kind of get an idea of what I do, and then we're going to talk about this. Okay, so this is super easy. No mystery here. No Scooby-Doo mystery. All I do is I take my Bath & Body Works body cream, I put a little bit on a cotton washcloth. There we go, put it on there. And then close up the lid. And I'm gonna wipe down my furniture. So as you can see, I'm putting a generous amount on at first. I'm rubbing it all in. This picks up the dust, it picks up the dirt. And then what I'm gonna do is turn over the washcloth and I'm gonna buff it to a shine. Oh my goodness, you guys. My dining room smells amazing. I think this is my favorite set right now. And um, I go over it a couple times on the dry side and really um, just buff it up there. There's a little bit of dust left on the, um, the washcloth, which is good because that means you're getting your dust. And um, it looks beautiful and it smells beautiful. So that's it. It's so easy. So here's my tips for doing it. I usually use a cotton washcloth, so I use, these are pretty old. Um, I use a stack of them only for dusting. I don't use these in the shower or anything. Um, and then I throw them in the wash and then I just keep them aside uh, for dusting. These are the big one. Um, I believe these are from Kohl's, right? The big one. And they are 100% cotton. I found that 100% cotton fluffy washcloths work so much better. Um, don't try and use like um, a microfiber one because that's just going to mush everything up and move it around and it's not going to buff it very well. So like I said, you just take a little bit. It doesn't matter if it's the Ultra Shea Body Cream or if it's the Ultimate Hydration. Either one works, I found. Now keep in mind, I don't have antique furniture. I don't have very expensive furniture. I have a fairly nice bedroom set that I bought like 20 years ago, and I've been using the body cream on my bedroom set for 10 years, and it always works. It always looks amazing. My furniture is wonderful. I cannot stand Lemon Pledge. It smells. It gives me asthma. I don't like aerosol furniture polishes at all. I don't like the chemicals. This works so well. <laughs> Not to mention that it makes your house smell amazing. So for example, we do not have a candle in Pink Watermelon Blast. I don't even think we have a wallflower. I, I know we don't. Um, it smells so good. My dining room smells like fresh watermelon and lime. It was funny. My husband just walked through and he's like, well, the dining room smells really good. I'm like, yeah, 
because I dusted it with pink watermelon blast. <laughs> and it does. It smells so good in there. So what I love about this is not only are you saving money by not buying expensive furniture polish to dust your furniture, but a lot of times, a lot of us do have a lot of leftover body cream because we buy it for some annual sale and we don't use it up. Um, and over the years, you know me, I've accumulated so much stuff. I actually have a bin just for body cream that I use on my furniture. If Pink Watermelon Blast goes down to 75% off, I'm going to get a couple of extra of these um, just to do my furniture because it's a really inexpensive way to polish furniture. And um, oh my gosh, you guys, the holidays. So this is what you're going to do. Any of the holiday scents smell so good on furniture. This is why I wish that we would have like um, a fresh balsam type of scent in the body cream because I want to use it on my furniture. <laughs> that would be so neat. But uh, Fireside Flurries I used last year. Oh my gosh. Bonfire Bash Sweet Whiskey, that will make your house smell so good. And what's nice about it is it's not a concentrated room spray, so it's not an aerosol, it's not a candle, it's not a plug-in. So what I like to do is in the evening, when I don't necessarily want to burn a candle or I don't want to spray a concentrated room spray, I'll run a little bit of um, body cream across my furniture in my bedroom, and I can smell that all throughout the room. And it's not like a harsh smell, because like I said, it's not a mist or anything. It's not the concentrated room spray. It's the body cream, and it smells so good on the furniture. It kind of puts me to sleep. But I think this is my favorite Bath & Body Works hack that I've ever done, um, and I've been doing it for 10 years. Like I said, I love it. Um, my only advice is... Like I said, if you have expensive furniture, I would test it out. My furniture is, is definitely not higher end. I actually have a, um, a cedar chest that sits at the end of my bed. It's kind of scratched up because I put my laundry basket on it and stuff, and I always polish it up with um, the Bath & Body Works body cream, and it, it looks great. It looks absolutely beautiful for an old piece of furniture. So I love this hack. It's one of my favorite things to do um, with Bath & Body Works body cream. And even if you're getting to a scent that might be a little bit on the older side, put it on your furniture. As long as it smells good, that's all that matters. So I am so excited. My house now smells like Pink Watermelon Blast. I'm going to enjoy the scent throughout the house. And um, I think I'm going to call it a night. I was going to do a third video, but I think I'm just going to, I'm going to relax tonight. We might watch a movie. So anyway, thank you as always for watching. Leave a comment below if you have tried this hack to let other people know um, the results you had. And uh, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.